welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and smash that like button. And yes, guys, this time we got the three points. Today, we didn't bottle it today. We actually, in the Champions League final, we finished third. And today is Leicester City, nil, Manchester United, two. We're in the Champions League. These are the champions. Trust me, bruv, we made it. Like, never thought that we would, but can you imagine? Who would have thought that during the start of pre-season last season? I mean, at the start in the summer, we was looking like we was going to finish fifth or sixth, you know, with, with those transfers not happening for us. But now we're sitting here, we're in third place. Well done, Oli. Well done, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, even though I slated you throughout the whole season, had doubts in you, you know. Today, you deserve credentials, so kudos to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But yeah, we made it, guys. We actually are in the Champions League. We finished third. Mm-hmm. We finished first right above those losers, Chelsea. Yes, sorry, Leicester. Thank you, Johnny Evans. Thank you, Johnny Evans, Manchester United Academy graduate, gifting us the penalty and also getting sent off. Kudos to you. You are the MVP of today's match. Guys, the first half, of course, you know, it was quite a bit nerve-wracking. Yes, had my heart beating sometimes, you know, shouting, Matic, what the hell are you doing? That sometimes, oh, Pogba, what did you do? Bruno, oh, Rashford, man. Rashford, what's wrong with you? That was going through the whole first 45 minutes. But yet, when we got straight into the second half, Thank you, Johnny Evans, for that gift to foul Martial. Martial won the penalty. And our guy, you know, numero uh, the star of the show so far, Bruno Fernandes with the penalty. Cool, calm, collected penalty. Well done, Bruno. Uh, he's in double figures for, for this season as soon as he joined us. Fantastic. But apart from that, he was a bit terrible during the whole 90 minutes. He didn't have his best game. But when it came to the moment of keeping composure... Yes, Bruno slotted in the penalty and made it 1-0. I and mean, then when it got towards the 90th minute of the game, Schumacher's as well, his legendary dad playing for Manchester United. Yep, another one, another assist from him. He made a mistake. And then, you know, you know, you know, Messi Lingard. Sorry, Jesse Lingard, because he ain't that anymore. Finally capitalised and scored and made it 2-0. And we won. We won. We're third. What can we say? Happy days for us. Sad days for Leicester. And commiseration to all those teams that have been relegate, relegate today. I can't, I don't even know who it is today, but I feel sorry for you guys. Relegation isn't easy. So my man in the match today, of course, today I'm going to have to give it to Anthony Martial. Electrifying, involved throughout the attacks all the time, making some smart plays, clever plays as well. He worked extremely hard today, Anthony Martial. He is my number nine. He is our number nine and he's doing well and, and he's just representing that number nine shirt really well. And then the donkey of the match today, oh, I thought it could have been Bruno. Well, of course, Matic, you made a lot of mistakes in the first 45 minutes. I was angry at you for, 30, for 45 minutes of the match. Yes, I was angry at you. Even when you tried to do something in the second half, I was still angry at you because of what you done in the first half. So you'll get my donkey of the match today. Just giving the ball away Almost, almost crossing the goal. Almost crossing the goal. But boy, we won at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And we go straight into the player rating, guys. Yes, in goal. In goal, we had David De Gea. David De Gea did well today. No mistakes. No mistakes, my guy, David De Gea. Today, you get a seven. Spider one. Mm -hmm. Aaron Spider one. Yes, today you are back, finally. You finally got your sense back. I think whatever was going on behind closed doors is settled because he was back. He was back. So I'm going to have to give him a seven. A very good seven. And then we have Iceman today, Vindelof. Lindelof, of course. You're not a Vindelof today because you're not expired today. So Lindelof, my guy, another seven. And you got the captain, Harry Beckenbauer. At AKA Harry Maguire against his old team. He did well today. He saved us a couple of times. I'm going to have to give him a 7 too because he did well. Of course, we had a young Brandon Williams front playing left back today instead of Luke Shaw. 
And of course, we were hoping for a speedy recovery for Luke Shaw for the Europa League competition so we can win that. I'm going to have to give him a seven as well. He done really well. But Matt Donkey in the match, Nemanja Matic, I'm going to have to give a six today. Yes, six. Because you was that. I was, I'm still upset with you right now. I am still upset with you right now. Even though the match happened 30 minutes ago, I'm still upset. So that's why you're getting that six. And my guy, Labile Pogba. Pogba. He done some things today. Him as well, seven. So it's pretty much sevens throughout the whole player ratings, you know. Because, we, of course, we got the three points and everything went well. We didn't play particularly well. We don't like we were at the best. But everyone will get a seven today. Being an average game and an average performance for them. Of course, we move it on to, all right, we're missing, missing Gunman Greenwood. Yes. Him a seven as well. Bruno Fernandez. I'm going to have to give him a six. He wasn't the best, of course. Because said, he could have equally been donkey of the match as well. But you know, because he scored that penalty, that kind of redeems him. And then we have Mark Rashford. I'm going to give him a six. Mark Rashford was, again, making mistakes, doing the wrong thing, making the wrong passes. I don't know what's going on with Mark Rashford so far. The last three games, he has been poor. But he ain't getting slated so because he's British. Mm. Anyway, up front, my guy, my man in the match, Ashley Marshall, a strong number seven. Solid seven. I will say 7.1, you know. But he got that seven today. So he's our man in the match. Thank you, guys. As well, guys, remember, we're third. Finish third, which means we get more Champions League money, you know. You know, we can finally look to get Jaden Sancho. Because at the end of the day, the deal does depend on Manchester United qualifying for the Champions League. And we made it, guys. I am shocked right now because I can't believe what we finished third. I thought this team would finish fifth or sixth at the start of pre-season after the transfer window closed. Without signing that midfield that we needed with Pogba being injured the horrible three months with Oli towards December until, you know, the, the guy that came and saved us, Mr. Bruno Fernandes, came. But from there, everything just turned around. And now we're sitting here, we're in a Champions League. It's, 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 it's a good weekend, it's a good week, it's a good season for us. All we have to do is just probably win the Europa League. And we can't be upset about that, we have to be happy. We have to be happy, we have to praise Oli, you know, even though it hurts me to say this, but we have to praise Oli. He's still a bad coach, you know, there's, there's frailties in his coaching. But yeah, I'm just happy that we are in the Champions League, guys. And guys, it's been wonderful, of course. Remember to follow the socials and remember to subscribe again and smash that like button if you're feeling it. Post your comments on who you thought was the man in the match and also who was your donkey of the match. And remember to follow the socials as well. Let's get it to 3,000 followers on Instagram. And you remember that is Red United on the school. Sorry, Red United TV 1, baby. You know what I mean, innit? And then follow my Instagram account, my personal, Ivorian on the school spice. Remember, guys, keep it united and also keep it Red United. I am out.